That's about 20 mils of water, and you wouldn't believe it could do much damage. But you'd be surprised to hear if that much water got sucked into the inlet of a diesel four-wheel drive like this one, she's game over. It's hard to believe that such a small amount of water could stop a big four-wheel drive in its tracks, but that's just what's happened here. Even though the owner of this vehicle has a snorkel fitted, like a lot of snorkels, it's a two-piece design. He's been in deep water and water's got in between the top half and the bottom half. The engine seized and he's been towed home for some serious repairs. However, just because there's plenty of water around at the moment, it doesn't mean that you have to stay completely high and dry. The solution to all your water woes is a safari snorkel, which will help you and your engine breathe a little easier. A snorkel is essentially a high-mounted intake that keeps your engine supplied with plenty of cool, clean air, keeping it running at its sufficient best, out of reach from water, dirt, dust and so on. I've come up to Land Cruiser Mountain Park in the hills around Jimna, where they've just finished cleaning up after their wettest Christmas ever. And although the majority of the tracks are still open, evidence of how much water came through here can still be seen. The first and most important decision with any water crossing is that initial call whether or not you're going to go in. Because once you are in, it's too late to change your mind. So it's always a very good idea to get out and do a bit of recon first. The two key things to consider at this point are depth and just as important, whether there's any current that could potentially wash us off track. If you're unfamiliar with the area, then the only true way to check the depth is to do a walkthrough. Fortunately, we've done this crossing before, so there's no need. In the old days, now's the time we'd be taking the fan belt off and strapping a tarp across the front of the car. But we won't have to do that. We've got a viscous fan and a well-sealed diesel engine. And another little secret I've learned over the years is to get yourself some of this stuff, CRC or something like it, spray it round your door rubbers, they'll make a better seal and you won't get your feet wet. This car is equipped with a set of diff locks, front and rear, which will give us better drive, particularly handy in a silty, sandy creek like this. In terms of gears, I'd almost always go with low range second gear, not first, as you want to be able to maintain a bit of momentum on the way through. Once you're in the water, it's important not to go too fast. You don't want water up over the bonnet. And the other thing is, when you're in the water, do not push the clutch, because if it does get wet, you'll end up with no clutch, no drive. ARB stocked the full range of safari snorkels, including this new high-volume replacement for the standard two-piece unit you get on all Land Cruiser utes. So check out the website for your nearest store. So there you have it. We knew the terrain and we knew the vehicle. But if you're unsure of either of those things and you find yourself in a similar situation, don't attempt it. Because after all, the idea is to have fun and get home safe.